let me lay down and let me do nothing. Think in the back of your head, what would Beyonce do? You think Beyonce would lay in that bed all day? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. TV. I am Kendria. And I'm here with a video for you guys today on how to stay productive while quarantined and doing it, classes online. So I know that everyone is doing the big switch at your universities on, to online classes. LSU is too. I don't know if you guys have started you guys' classes yet, but LSU's online classes start March 30th. So that's this upcoming Monday. So I'm bringing you guys some tips on how to stay productive and how to survive the switch to online classes. I have never, ever, ever in my life just done online classes only. I have taken online classes before, like done assignments online and watched lectures online and stuff like that. But I've never taken exams for like chemistry and physics online. I don't know exactly how that's gonna go, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button and like and comment if you guys like the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I try my best to be consistent and upload a video about every week. Try to do more videos in one week if I can because my time is starting to get taken up because I'm trying to do my lunch, school is coming back up, and I got a job at a lab. So I've been trying my best to manage my time very wisely. So I would suggest you guys turn on notifications on so you can see when I upload. The first step that I have is to wake up early. I know y'all saying like, girl, I don't even wake up early on a regular day and go to class. but it's important that you wake up early because if you're like me, you will lay in the bed all day. Number two would be to create a routine. Whenever I do not have a routine, I just won't do anything like because I'll have so much in my brain to do. It'll be everywhere that I just won't make t take the initiative to actually do something. So I suggest that you sit down and you create a routine. Just write down a couple things that you have to do for the day in order to get started. If that includes meditating, because I like to meditate in the morning, take the time to make yourself breakfast and work out before your online lecture starts. So I suggest you like do a to-do list and you write a couple things down of what you want to get done today. And so you can check them off because that's another thing I like to do. I like to write things, write things that get done so I can check them off. And I'm like, yeah, I got that done. So it makes you feel really productive. Three would be to get out of your pajamas. Something like cute but comfy clothes. It'll make you feel better, more, more, more motivated to do actually do something. My fourth tip for you guys would be to designate a work area. So I have my desk in my room. But if you don't have a desk in your room, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you get to like a table if you want to, the couch, if that's comfortable for you, or a countertop or something like that. Definitely not your bed. Your bed is not a workspace. It's not. It's not a work area. It's meant for you to lay down and go to sleep in. So if you lay down in the bed, you're eventually going to get lazy and you're going to just slump down in the bed and take a nap. What I would suggest for this work area is swing your blinds like in curtains because it just brings in direct sunlight. Without direct sunlight in your room, it feels really gloomy. So just like go ahead and take the time out to open your blinds. It makes a drastic difference in your room. Next tip would be to minimize distractions. So try your best to stay off of social media because once you start, you will sit down on your couch for like an hour watching Instagram videos. And of course you're gonna get on your phone and get on social media while you're studying and stuff like that. But try your best to like manage it and make sure you don't get too deep into it. And number six is, it kind of plays into number five. Even though you should minimize distractions, but you should also give yourself a break. Like be very patient with yourself. If you try to put too many things in one day, of course it's gonna like, it's gonna make you feel antsy and it's just gonna, you're never really gonna get anything really done. Multitasking is good, I guess, but I'm not really too big on it. Like. I like to focus on one thing at a time and whenever I focus on that one thing, I like to give it all, my all and then once I'm done with that, I it off my checklist and I go on to the next thing. Don't be hard on yourself and try to force everything to get everything done in one day. It's no, it's impossible. Break, call your family, meditate, go for a walk around your, um, your community or just eat a snack, something like that or journal. I like to journal a lot. Just write out your thoughts and that way you'll be able to um, get everything organized after you've done all that it's time to take care of yourself the time out to eat do your skincare routine take a nice bubble bath you take the time out to read articles watch youtube videos on things that you're interested in not just about school all the time you can watch netflix 
I know that like I'm talking about productivity in this video and you're like girl how can you be productive with Netflix but you don't have to be productive all the time those are all the tips that I have for you guys today hopefully these tips will help you to be productive and you're thinking like let me lay down and let me do nothing think in the back of your head what would Beyonce do you think Beyonce will lay in that bed all day stay safe wash your hands yep that's all I got we out.